Friends, your future may not be as secure as you think. Reserve your family spot in a state-of-the-art underground vault today. Sign up now and prepare for the future. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here in Diamond City, where I am holding a gun out that only has one round. <laughs> so that's gonna be that's gonna be useful. I believe our next quest. What are we doing? Yes, we have to find Nick Valentine, and he is in this place called Combat Zone. Okay, or good neighbor. Good neighbor! No, yeah. Good neighbor, that's... Isn't that a little bit of a... Of a shady place to be? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I do remember good neighbor, and I'm... Um, I guess good neighbor could maybe be like the Riften of the Fallout world. It's where... It's where crime is... Is free to... Or... Not as frowned upon in that city. Oh, it says it says that Hank found something. What'd you find, boy? All right, we are following Hank into who knows where. I I I swear if he if he leaves me in like a raider camp, he's barking at a brick wall. This is just a wall, buddy. I mean, well, what about the building? Is there something behind this wall in this building? I, I, don't, I don't even know what building this is. Like, what am I looking at? It's the unstoppable. The unstoppable. No sign of uh. him now. What the fuck was that? Oh, great. A stupid raider. That is like a billboard there. I don't know. This seems like some just like little apartment building looking thing. Let's see if let's see if we can get inside because Hank found something in here. Stim pack and purified water in here. That's cool. Pack of cigarettes and pre-war money. Um, I don't know if this goes down though. I don't know. May maybe Hank is getting a little. Oh great, we got m what are these things? It's it is these like zombie dogs. A mongrel. Let's use my one round. Wow, awesome. I killed them with my one round. Okay. What do I need to put here? Yeah, got got the quick whatever. Um my hotkeys. I push one and my 10 mm pistol comes out. Good job, Hank. Wait a second. I know this building. What is this building? It's a church. I swear I know what this is. It's got a large, round, cylindrical bit off the back of it. This isn't the old North Church, right? This is some something else. Holy Mission Congregation. Okay. Yeah, I'm not... Maybe I'm not too f familiar with that guy. I think I do recognize... The place. Okay, okay, anyway, 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 I'm sorry, we're, this is not a sightseeing trip, we we need to rescue Nick Valentine. Okay, I am, I'm now running along the river here, along this really nice riverfront. Ah. Caution, that sounded like a super mutant, even though we haven't met one yet. He had a very grumbly no voice. Alright, I'm gonna quick save. Maybe we should give, give this super mutant a, a shot. 
No pun intended. As I have my, Don't as I have my pistol. Out. Yep, that's a super mutant. It just said on the uh, subtitles. Gonna be a good what the freak? He just shot a, a missile at me. What's up with that? My health is low. Use a stim pack. Broken. Well, that's great. What is that? Oh. Um. Stim pack. Stim pack. <laughs> health. Nice, I have 15 stim packs. Okay, let's not deal with a super mutant today. Boy, I just look at him and he shoots a missile at me. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm dead. Ooh, was that our first death? I don't recall. Well, I'm glad I saved. Maybe, maybe we'll give this another try. Maybe I can get a shot off on him really quick. He just saw me so fast. Uh, out there! Can't escape me! Okay, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah, yep, and I dodged his missile there. Hank is going after him. Ah, no, no, I just wanted to and reload. Jeez. Okay, no, I'm still good. I'm still good. Bob. Gosh, dang it. That exploded next to me. Aid. Okay, yeah, let's let that heal up a little bit. There we go. We're good. I'm gonna feast on your flesh. There he is. Human. Go. Okay, gosh, dang it. I need a little bit of distance between me and him. There he is, there, there he is. Dead! We got him, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! Okay, now, missile launcher. Yes, oh my gosh. I shot his head off. There is just a little piece of vertebrae where is sticking out of his neck. Where's Hank? There he is, he's fine. Sleeping bag. Do you have anything in 10 millimeter rounds? That's cool. Okay, let's check out this missile launcher really quick. <laughs> we might have to favorite this thing. No missiles. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, well that's something to keep an eye out for. Even though, even though I don't know, I, I will probably accidentally just like shoot my own face if I if I use this missile launcher but yeah like that is really neat about those because when I lost all that health the the missile didn't hit me directly it the oh how hal, hal, hallucinogen hallucinogen gosh Well, that hurt. I'm still not dead yet. Oh, but yeah, what I was saying was that missile, it hit a wall. It didn't hit me directly, it hit a wall. So, so that is actually pretty cool doing that. Danger in common area. This is written on a wall here. Yeah, yeah, I know there's danger in this common area. I'm just going to walk slowly around it. I think I see a turret in there. Boston Common discovered. That's probably what this area is. Okay, Nick Valentine is around here somewhere. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I think I remember. He's, he's down... Here we go. 20 meters out. He's down in this subway... Station. Yeah, yeah, yep, there you go. Park Park Street Station. Yeah, I think we're all good here. A very interesting thing about Fallout 4 is what is very different is that is that there's no health regen. That's alright. We have stim packs for days and water. Ooh, here we go. Okay. I don't know what kind of rifle situation I have. Like, do I have anything that can take 308? I do have something that, that can take 308, but I have no 308 rounds. 
and my double-barreled shotgun that could come in handy. This laser musket does 30 damage, my pistol does 21 damage. Yeah, sure, let's give the laser musket a try. <laughs> oh, gosh dang it. Oh, yeah, I remember I'm that. It has to do like a one charge. Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. You have to recharge every shot. Face. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Ah. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Yeah, I shot that guy in the face. As soon as he looked at me, I shot him in the face. But all right, I'm getting the pistol back out. We got to be quick with these. So, Freddy cats, too scared. Um, the, the these guys are trigger men. Ooh. I feel like he was about to throw something. He's here but I lit him up. I shot nice three hit. bullets in his face. Nice. Two bullets to the head. One bullet to the head, and he didn't die, though. There we go. Shot him in the chest. 45 rounds, yes. Submachine gun, I'll take that. 10, 10 millimeter round. Gosh dang, I didn't mean to take that, but oh well. I... I, I just grabbed another 10 millimeter pistol. Oh yeah, at some point in time, I do want to start modifying these these guns. We have a terminal here. Purchase tickets, terminal shut down, and employee notice. Nah, that's all right. But yeah, Skinny Malone doesn't have the balls to get rid of Nick Valentine, a dark black, a dirty black suit. Do I need to start walking around with a suit and a fedora? Yeah, I can start looking like I'm someone off of... I was gonna say Goodfellas, but now that I kind of think think, think on back to, to Goodfellas, I don't know if... I, I don't know if anyone actually really wears fedoras in Goodfellas. <laughs> but it looks like... It looks like we're all clear up top here. Okay, yeah, we can go further down towards the tracks. Get back into our hidden mode. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is the station down here. Ah! The freak was that? I... I never catch these mines. Stim pack. I would love to be able to actually disarm them and use them. All right, yep, pistol out. Here we go. Reload. I only had nine rounds, and now I have 12. Here's a guy. What the? Great, he sees me already. I am not that sneaky. Apparently. Dang it, I got... Shoot! Oh my gosh, There, there's like six of them! Okay, let's switch this up. Give me... What is my shotgun? A five? Where'd he go? Oh! Nope! No, 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 no. I went nowhere. Dang it, where is my... I know I have a shotgun. And I leveled up, so that's cool. Alright, yep, yep, we got a shotgun. Alright, this, oh, this has, has to get up, up close and personal. One down. Two down. Re reload. Three down. So far, so good. Oh my gosh, my health is low. We need to stim up. Quick save. They're not following me up the stairs, so I'm good there. Give me a uh, purified water. That gives you a lot of health. Ooh. If I... If I take Psycho... It increases my damage resistance by 25 points. Yeah, sure, let's do... Alright, we are officially on drugs. Damage resistance, po poison resistance, this is Medex. A crispy swirl bit. That will increase my, my HP. <laughs> oh my... Was that me? Did I just... What?! Oh, good lord. Lost him. Ah, that's just great. 
That's just great. Yeah! I am like a robot right now, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm still taking damage, though. I'm, I'm not, like, invincible. All right, let, let's get my, my pistol back out. That, that genuinely scared me. I do remember in previous playthroughs, I never really tried out drugs, but like, oh my gosh, if you just take Psycho, he just goes, and scares the crap out of you. Okay, I think I got one guy left. No, I don't, I got two guys left. Hank is down. But, but um, that's all right. We, we'll we help him out in a second. I'm missing these shots. All right, he's dead. One guy left. One guy left. Dead. Perfect. A sweet roll. Oh, that's fun. Love those, those crossovers of, of, um, of game food. And this was Blamco Mac and Cheese. That is a fantastic brand, <laughs> Blamco. Okay, along the way, I have picked up a submachine gun, sugar bombs. I should get that ready and put that into my favorites. Submachine gun, 57 rounds, nice. I'll probably blow through those 57 rounds in, like, five seconds. Favorite, we'll make this number six. Awesome. I gotta remember these. <laughs> and I feel like eventually I will remember all of my, all of my hot keys here. And I can, and I can quickly and swiftly swap between my guns. Okay. Well, it looks like here on the railroad tracks, they they were quickly trying to like load up the city to move out. I mean, there are massive storage containers everywhere try, trying to be loaded up on the trains, but then but then it looks like the tunnels collapsed. And there's a car down here on the track. That's there's two cars. That's a, I mean like street cars. Those are not going to work down here. Or actually, I don't know. These could be post-war. You know, I I was gone for 200 years, so so who knows. Okay, I think we're on to our next Oh yeah, yep, yep. There there is someone there. Gosh, I so wish I had 308. I would love to snipe right now. Oh, sneak attack, two times damage. And he was far away, too. That was awesome. I hit him. Boy, I'm getting some distance with this pistol. Let's see those moves, tough guy. Why don't you ask your friend about my moves? Oh, wait, you can't, because he's dead. Dang it. There we go. How is my HP? Not, not great, not terrible. Quick saving. I think we got one more guy down here somewhere. Dang it, missed him. Yeah, he is crouching behind this bulldozer. I missed 100%. There we go, n n now he's dead. <laughs> Yeah, there is a lot of construction going on here, but I assume this is probably post-war construction. Trying to... Oh. Oh, I forgot about this. This is a vault, ladies and gentlemen. This is the door to Vault 114. Here, let me get a stem pack going. Yeah, this is something definitely that I want to do in these Let's Plays. I want to... I want to explore all of the all of the available vaults in the commonwealth i don't know how how many there are i mean there there are at least two 
we have Vault 114 that's down here in this train station. And then, um, and then we have Vault 111, what we just came out of. Vault door controls. Activate. This is exactly how it was when I left Vault 111. Use my pit boy to activate and push the button to open. Opening Vault Vault 114, we are on the lookout for Mr. Nick Valentine. Okay, dog meat, geez. Or rather, Hank, great. Hank is stuck down in the stupid bridge. And and now his body's glitching out. Be, um, I mean, he tried walking down and, and then the bridge moved over him and now he's stuck in the bridge. Well, hopefully he can glitch his way out. Oh crap. The door. Why is that thing so loud? Hello? Oh no. That you, Skinny? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Darla? Got him. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm sorry. And I, I don't know why I'm so excited about that. 2 times damage. Nice. And Hank is, well, okay. Well, Hank is just gone. He is completely gone now. So I guess on the good side, he made it out of the bridge, but on the bad side is he's completely gone. No, 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 he's, he be here, he be here. Okay, we have a good sneak thing going. What I need to do is, oh, wait, yeah, hang on. Quick save. Maybe I should talk to the bah! boss. You can't be that mad at me. What's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, right. These are some Batman sounding guys. Okay, I'm in our, in our perk tree. I want, I want sneak. How, how do I get more, here we go, sneaky. Become whisper, become shadow. You are 20% harder to detect while sneaking. Yes, accept. Bam. Oh, oh, and I can do another one. I am, ooh, I am 30% harder to detect and no longer trigger floor-based traps. I can do that one, but wait a second. Is there a Is there a sneak attack one? Ooh, Mr. Sandman, as an agent of death itself, I can instantly kill a person. I I can instantly kill a sleeping person. Your silenced weapons do an additional 15% of sneak damage. That's that's cool. I like that. Moving target. Action boy. Your ranged sneak attacks do two and a half times normal damage. And your melee sneak attacks do four times normal damage. Okay, that and 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 that's ninja. That's a good one, but but um but I but I need to put another perk into agility in order to get that. Can I do that? What if I do this? Um, agility measures your overall finesse and reflexes. It affects the number of action points in VATS and your ability to sneak. Now you gain instantly. Okay. Ah, no, I think I'll leave it there. My oh, my sneaking is now 20% better, so that's cool. Ah, jeez. <laughs> I, I just look over and Hank is, is right in my face. That kind of scared me there. Oh, Oh yeah, and and that actually reminded me of something that I wanted to talk about. I have a lockpick here. So for my Skyrim nice. Let's Play, I oh I want to take all. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, it, it it is able to also support video on Spotify, but unfortunately, I th I think for this Fallout Let's Play. I think I'm going to need to 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 go on over to a different hosting site in order to in, in order to put up this playthrough. And I don't and I don't think that that, that, that other hosting site is going to host video. And so because of that, I don't know I don't believe that this um 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 that the podcasting platform of this is gonna have video, it might just be audio only. But of course, everything will be up on 
will be up on YouTube. And and also, of course, what I'm saying right right now, whenever whenever someone listens to this, it, it could be dated information. Maybe there is a way to to get the video up on pla- um, up on um, up on platforms like like Spotify. But I don't know. At the time of recording, and and I'm pretty sure at the time of upload, it, the, the podcasting this will be audio only, but the video will still will still be up on YouTube. All right, I want to check this out. This is a Vault Tech terminal for for 114. What do we have in here? Welcome, employees. Um, private staff only. All right, what are we doing? The science division for those probate security terminals. So, social science division. Okay, let's see. As mentioned, we'll be hosting high-ranking members of local and state government, local luminaries, business people, and their families. Okay. Okay, so basically high high class um, upper class wealthy people future members are aware that they are that that they will be co co cohabiting solely with other Boston upper class. Okay, how however, the luxury aspect of this vault will go on. Oh, okay, th- there we go. No, hey no, wait, hang on. I wasn't done yet. Okay. Has been highly exaggerated to future residents. Mul- multiple families chosen randomly will live and sleep in single room apartments, dining and bathing. Will 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 be in shared quarters and amenities will be minimal. In addition, we are currently interviewing for the overseer position from many candidates. Our goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience and hopefully with a strong anti-authority ba- bias. Okay, that's interesting. Hugh Human Resources tells us that the interview process has been vetted. By taking away luxury and authority, these groups saw in surface life we hope to study their 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 reactions in stressful situations as such please do not undermine the new overseer's authority all during on, on the experiment even and especially if it causes physical discomfort embarrassment or harm to residents that's that is very interesting so Vault 114 was on was to take very upper class people in in business and government. Jeez, there was a guy right here and I just blew his head off. And then blood gushes out of his neck. That's that is nice. Yeah, um, um take take upper class people in business and government and strip away luxury and authority. And then just see what happens. <laughs> Which is definitely the theme of Vault Tech, you know. Put put people in these in these unique and potentially discomforting situations and see what happens over prolonged periods of time. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Is that true? So I guess in the end, at the very least, if anything, building vaults was just a way to keep people working and to keep spending government money? Well, actually, I don't know. That's a good question as well. Is vault Tech a government-sponsored organization, or is vault Tech a purely private organization? I don't know. But I have a long hallway here and two guys here. Let's shoot his head off. What? Got him. One down. <laughs> the other guy's gonna run around the corner here. Let's light him up. Jeez! Ah! That was a little bit of an over-exaggerated shout. <laughs> you know, these people, they they have a lot of squirrel bits. Ooh, a glow-sided 10 millimeter pistol. Okay, hang on, we might have to swap out for that. I mean, come on, you just gotta go with the better one.
yeah, take this guy and favorite this guy. Let's put him in the new n n um, number one slot. Perfect. Okay. The oh, yeah, nice. I have glow sights. Okay. All right, well, I, we're at our next door. Open sliding door. This might be where where the Mr. Nick Valentine is. But, yeah, I, oh, nope. Ooh. This is like a cave. Was this vault even complete? Honestly, I don't know. It's been 200 years. This vault could have opened up who knows how long ago. I got two times sneak damage on this guy. I'm not getting very good hits on this guy. All right, let's back up, let's reload, and let's get a stim pack. But yeah, that's definitely something that I want to do. Um, I don't think I really know all that much about Vault Tech. And I would, and I would love to learn more. That is going to be a little quest we have on this venture. Is, is, is learning more about Vault Tech. I just stim packed dog meat, so that's cool. He is alive and well now. There's another guy down here. Killed this guy. We're a melon. He had a melon on him. I wonder how much HP a melon has. Yeah, this is going to be one of those cases <laughs> where it'll be like, oh, I'm low on health. I'm going to eat 36 potatoes really quick. Whoa, my gosh, geez. Whoops. I did not mean to just run in here. Sheesh. Emptied my entire magazine on that. I'm not being very efficient with my bullets. Great, and I hear Hank shouting. I'm using everything. Good thing I I I I have 125 rounds though, so so it's fine. It's not horrible. Oh, oh wait, duct tape and a bobby pin. I definitely want yum yum deviled eggs. Yeah, sure. I'll take all the food I can get. I I should start using. Leaving so soon. Let me start using start my submachine gun. I have picked up a lot. That's number six. Oh yeah, yeah. I I I have been picking up a lot of 45, and I have 63 rounds of 40. No, I have 113 rounds of 45. Shot glasses. Those look like ceramic. Shouldn't hide. Insta mash. Is that more food? All right, I gotta jump down into this room here. Time to put you on ice. Okay. Uh, oh, that was awesome. How? How? I shot four shots and I killed them. Good deal. And I'm up on this upper level here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna drop all the way into the room now. Awesome. Lost the battle music. Let me do a stim pack and a quick save. You know what? Let me use some of these yum yum deviled eggs. And then some squirrel bits. Yeah, taking on some radiation with those. A Salisbury steak. That'll help a lot. Good deal. Yeah, we're getting back up to full health after our little meal. Vault Tech Terminal. What do we have here? Is this something new? <gasps> this is a lot more. No, this is not new stuff. It's... It, it, it's what we already know about Vault 114. More, a more caps and 45 rounds on that guy. I don't know what my health, no, what my carry situation is. I still got room. 170 out of 230 carry points. We're still good. All right, we got our submachine gun out. Only down four rounds. That was cool. What? Open Vault 114. Was that really all just the entrance? I'm not even in Vault 114 yet. Alright. Well, well, here we are. <laughs> What's this on the table? A fuse. 
and a screwdriver, but I think I'm good without that. Dog meat? What What does it say? Surface never vault forever. And it has the little vault boy holding up his... No, okay, so I learned that. With the vault boy holding up his thumb, and especially... And especially if he's winking, apparently, um, that is not him just giving you the thumbs up. I think I heard if if you extend out your arm and you cover your thumb over the mushroom cloud, if your thumb is bigger than the mushroom cloud, you're at a safe distance. If the mushroom cloud is bigger than your thumb, you need to get back because it's... Um, I mean, because it's it because it's very dangerous. You, if it, okay, yeah. If if the mushroom cloud is bigger than your thumb, you are within the fallout range, which is a pretty cool rule of thumb. That is not where we get the saying "rule of thumb." <laughs> oh, we're in some sort of cafeteria. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over fast. That hmm. guy speaking, his name is Dino. And he's taunting Valentine, who is apparently locked in this room here. Oh boy, here comes Dino. Let's hide. Oh, he sees me. I'm missing him completely. Dog meat has him. Gosh dang it, dude, just freaking die! Oh, great, I use... I use 35 rounds. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I'm not such a crack shot with the submachine gun as I thought. Oh my gosh. I can... I can search pieces of his flesh. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, I'm overseer door password. Oh, I didn't want the password. I wanted to try to crack it 45 rounds and and there we go Okay Yep, yeah, um, and as we all know ladies and gentlemen Nick Valentine has played Is played by the guy who voices Mercer Frey, which is a really cool little crossover Cameo thing there. I guess I guess it's not really a cameo but on um, Valentine's a big role here we have a a novice lock on this on this toolbox. Oh come on. That's it. That's it. We have duct tape, scissors, and silver spoon and a wrench. Sure, yeah, take off. I'm gonna really need to go in and store my junk at some point in time. But alright, here we are. Hey you! I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes. Before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open. All right, yeah, I'll get it open. Oh, okay, I, I, I guess I don't have any option. You hack that terminal to open up this door. I don't have any option. Like it says, I have to use the password to unlock this. So, so I couldn't use the thing anyway. Door controls. Accessing door, opening door. All right, door open, Mr. Valentine. Hey, dude, can I can I talk to you? He is just just walking around. Let me talk to you, dude. Ah, uh, my knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way, risk life and limb for an old private eye? He pulled. He he is very obviously a synth. And he pulls out a cigarette and he starts, and he starts, um, smoking. <laughs> My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. <laughs> I 
I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Weeks? Oh, dang. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. See, I love how nice Valentine is. It's just like... Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Until they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. An empty vault. Perfect hideout. Yeah, um, 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 with Nick Valentine, it's like no questions asked. He, he is like, absolutely, I will help. Let's do this. I, I, I have a speech bobblehead here. Excellent. Let your words be your weapon. <laughs> oh man, in the in the Thieves Guild quest line, I I tried so much to fight with words, not blades, and and oh my gosh, it no matter how much I repeated that, I still always ended up like almost murdering everybody. All vendors have 100% more caps for bartering. That's awesome. Take that. We got some Vault 104 interviews. Okay, wait, this Vault Tech terminal. This is the Overseer's terminal. It This only has the welcome employees on it. This is the Overseer's terminal. It doesn't have more. All right, I have two holotapes. I kind of want to... Three holotapes. Ah! Oh, all right, fine. Let's put one in. We have number three, number 21, number 87. These are Vault Tech interviews. This is Vault Tech interview. Let's just try one. Number zero three for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels. Assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. This is the voice of... Oh, what's it? Festus Crex with the Dark Brotherhood. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have... Oh, everything. yeah, yeah, but that's the end of the interview. Um, Because as we have learned, vault Tech was not well, interested in someone who was interested in government. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non- But all right, yeah, I'm not going to listen to the other ones right now. Let's go venture along with Mr. Valentine here. We're going back out the way we came, through this cafeteria. Nick apparently seems to know his way. Ooh, another toolbox. Duct tape and a ball-peen hammer. And a, and fountain water, yes. Give me some of this fresh water. Jeez, Nick's, Nick's gone. Nick is moving. Hold up. Oh. I hear some of them coming. Oh, shh. There they are. How do you want to play this? Um, I would love to just sneak by if we can. Long, huh? Hey, Dino. Quit hey, Dino! Get down here! Where the heck is he? Oh, this is not gonna work. I'm not sneaky enough. Shit! Where'd that come try to get me? The shit. Ah. I am not doing so hot with my submachine gun. <laughs> I felt that. Ah. Is that it? Dang it! Can't see. Ooh. Okay, nice. I killed someone. <laughs> All right, excuse me, Nick. Whoop. Yeah, I'm, I'm Nick and I both are taking cover back into the, back into the room here. Okay, we're missing one guy. Oh, there he is. I shot him in the head. I probably only got like one, one round off. Of course, this gun kicks, making it a little trickier. He, he's dead as he, as he does a little, as he dies. Honestly, though. I probably would too. <laughs> if I just got shot to death in the face, I, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't be making a, a very, 
attractive noise. But all right, we're still sneaking on through. What is all these propaganda posters? We are in this together, must win. <laughs> and it's a fist and two explosions. Hard and loud, huh? Well, gets the job done. Well, Too bad for whoever cleans up the floors. To be honest, I don't know what my other option was. <laughs> they were blocking all the exits. Oh, these are like shower stalls here. I'm like in I'm like in a bathroom area. Huh. Well, that's nice. Can I turn 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 it on? No. No, no, we're not taking a shower today, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just continue to smell. These are more showers. One of these sounds like running water. Oh, this is a toilet in the end. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just exploring the bathrooms, apparently. All right, here is Mr. Valentine. Let, let me reload really quick. All right, I only have 64 rounds left. I start out with, uh, this what is it, 113? Let me see if I can get it open. Ah, is this a little nod back to Mercer Frey? Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. A master lock picker. Okay, yeah, we have residential, laundry, cafeteria, nursery, and exit all the way to the left. And then la and then la lavatory, showers, depot, atrium, and overseer, where we just came from. We're going up some stairs, making our way back up towards the surface. America lives on in you. The hell? It's another pro propaganda poster. Time to dance. Jeez. Ah. Well, I killed. Okay, no, Th that. Who's there? That is where the submachine gun thrives. You need to get really up close and personal with them. I know I saw so. Oh my gosh, that that was loud in my ears. Ooh, a novice lock. Just as battle music kicks off. It's all right. Valentine has it. Me and Hank are gonna are yes. gonna look inside this room. Oh, it's laundry. Oh, Undamaged box uh, of a Braxo cleaner. Time for you to take the fall. I, I don't know if that has any any goodness. Oh, and a first aid kit. All right, who else is in here? Even break yeah! Okay. It's an option. Well, the naturally, if you just walk up and just shove your gun in their face, they're gonna... Yellow paint. And an empty paint can... What? Why do I need yellow paint? I don't think... Yes! Before he could even get a hit on me! Got a nice pair of cement shoes for you! Thanks, just Nick. When I thought we were getting along. Nick, um, Nick just walked right in front of me just as I almost fired. A vault tech lab coat. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm just taking everything. I have the space. Until I don't have the space anymore. Bottle cast 45. Ooh, a hardened submachine gun. Yes, I'm gonna take that. Okay, hang on. We now gotta re-favorite this. Hardened submachine gun. Does 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 more damage than my current weapon. Then let's re-favorite this as number six. Good. Leaving so soon was just starting to admire you. I'm still just exploring rooms as Nick is is going about. Glue, nice, turpentine, duct tape. Oh, I'll fight. That's right. Run. Okay, now now we're crouching forward where where Nick already is. Hard work is happy work. <laughs> Now that's a propaganda slogan if I've ever heard one. We are in some sort of sleeping quarters. We keep on walking through bedrooms. This is a little kitchenette area. Preserved Instamash. Yeah, I'll take all that. Unrusted tin can. Sugar bombs. Ooh, whiskey. Clean full bottles. Ooh, purified water. Yep, I'll take those. It is amazing how much health water gives you. <laughs> More stairs? Who built this damn vault? A fitness instructor? I know, right? Jeesh. Jumpy. 
do we not have nuclear powered elevators? Thought I saw. Oh, nope, we're in trouble. Yes. Took him out. In a in a mutt fruit. Ooh. Okay, like this is a nursery here. We have cribs everywhere. And little toys. And stim packs and rattle away and purified water. Alright, Nick Valentine's taking cover in here with me. Here comes our next guy. Lit him up. Won't underestimate us again. Hank is hurt. But what else is new? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. Poor guy, no. He is doing his best. But but unfortunately, you know what? Hank, Hank is definitely just taking straight bullets to the face, and he's still alive. I mean, I would say that he's a pretty tough cookie. Stay fit, stay focused. Well, that's not hard to do in a in a vault full of stairs. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. <laughs> Another locked door. Is Skinny Malone a bit portly? Is that what you're saying? Okay, I gotta figure something out here. I do. Uh, I, I wish I still had shotgun sense. rounds. We're getting up on Skinny Malone, and I know it's... And I do remember it being a pretty tough firefight. I have Molotov cocktails, ladies and gentlemen. Hold and release. Left alt to throw grenades. Nice. Alright, yeah, give me, give me my pistol then. That is probably the next biggest damage thing I have. No, I have five shotgun shells. Yeah, yeah, give me that. It's on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Ooh, another, a check-in terminal. What's... Save all questions. Okay. Yeah, no, it's just like an orientation thing. All right, here, let me do a quick save before we go in here. Oh, pff, okay, jeez, yep. Oh, Park Street Station. Nice, we're going back out. What are you doing? Oh boy, here we are. You're coming to my All right, house. we shoot up my guys. You have any we have skinny, idea how much Darla, this is going to set me guys. back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? <laughs> Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault. I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, oh, huh? Oh crap. Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Oh boy, yeah, I'm some sort of mercenary. Ooh, nice, a speech check. I can try to convince her to leave. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. Don't you try oh, that to failed. confuse me! Get him, Skinny! Oh crap. Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! I just instantly almost died! My health is gone! What do I do now? Oh my goodness. Let's drink 10 bottles of water. <laughs> oh goodness. And maybe do a bit of psycho. All right, give me a couple purified waters. Um, some, 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 some preserved mash. That gave me a lot of HP, oh my gosh. Um, do I have, I do have some psycho, which, which increases my damage resistance. All right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to shout. Fucking kill! Jeez. Well, Darla's dead. <laughs> Jeez, and 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 my character, goodness. Jeez. Okay, hang on. Let me take cover and do a quick save. I I shot shotgun. Um, Darla received a shotgun blast at point blank to the face. All right, yeah, night. Good, 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 good. Yep. Ah, Nick is blocking my door. Jeez. Okay. 
Alright, I have like half HP. Goodness. You're in for it now. Okay, how many people we and we have two guys left. Let me reload. Let me let me drink another bottle of water here. And and then probably one more quick save, maybe. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's get on out there. There he is. <laughs> Dang it! Ugh. Where am I taking damage from? What am I doing? I have Molotov cocktails! <laughs> yes! Yeah, that's one way to get that coolant pumping. <laughs> So much for skinny Malone. Oh, nice. I think I killed someone. He's lighter or heavier with all those holes in him. Well, the bullets probably add a few ounces. Good night, sweet prince. Here's to all the old days. It's going to be an awkward conversation with Darla's parents when I tell them their daughter bit the big bit one. Bit the big one. <laughs> well, at least the case is closed. No. Well, there Let's you go. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. That is also another great thing about Nick. He is always looking on the sunny side of life, you know? Wow, I gotta tell Darla's parents that she bit the big one, but hey, at least the case is closed. All right, we have Darla here. Oh, she, and she, and she just has a bat and a dress. A trigger man, 45, a tar berry. Where was Skinny? Where did Skinny go? Another trigger man and rat away. But geez, yeah, I I can't believe my own character. Um, Skinny Malone, bottle caps, 12, tuxedo, and a formal hat. Yeah, for sure, I'll take that. Yeah, my, oh. Have you taken your medication today? Another propaganda poster. And a vault tech terminal. This is probably nothing new. Yeah, no, it's everything we, we already know. Jeez, I wish we could have had more secrets dropped about... About whatever. About... About Vault 114. But yeah, I am... And I'm now... I'm now... Wait, what am I doing? Is Nick already gone? Nick just ran off. He's gone. I'm... I'm now curious about Nick and Skinny's background. Because... Because I don't know if this is possible, if you could reprogram the synths. But Nick was talking a lot about the old times, you know? Which means, yeah, like he ran with Skinny Malone way back in the day. Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. So what changed Nick then to swap from 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 being a gangster and going into law enforcement? <clears throat> it was his assistant who sent me to him. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. <gasps> now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Yeah, for sure. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Let's go and chat with Nick. Oh, and we leveled up. We completed Unlucky Valentine. And now what is... And there goes Nick. Nick is walking off. And I started... Get a clue. All right. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's go and chat with Nick. And then I think that will be... The last thing we do in this episode is get... Is, is get on a trajectory... Onto our next path. Uh, yep, we are back here in the market where we had... Oh, and they've cleaned it all up. Well, that's good because there was that... That horrific shootout... <laughs> before in the last episode... But all right, we're we, we're back here, kind kind of a little bit like back in the slums of Diamond City, at the Valentine Detective Agency. Ellie, are you here? Nick. Ah. <laughs> Jeez. 
Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> this mug? <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. Yeah. You saved Nick, yeah. this agency, and, he just and my to me. job. Thank you. No problem. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Yay. Plus a little something extra. You know, hundred caps. If you're looking and for a work, fedora and she gave me. And a pad, trench coat. Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take Ooh. a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, yeah, wait, hang on. Okay, but, yeah, I now have a worn fedora and a trench coat that she gave me. And I think I just started miscellaneous quests. I, I would love to do some, some of these. I don't think I've ever done any of these. In my miscellaneous, I can, I can check for detective cases. Oh, okay. I think in the next episode, I want to do one of those because I don't think, um, I, I, I don't think I've ever done any of those miscellaneous quests. Um, those sound sound like fun, but but right now, let's 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 check in with Nick here. Sit in the chair. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Okay, yep, we have Nick across from me, and we have um, his secretary taking notes. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular, and why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? Hmm. There were kidnappers. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. The Institute? Well, that's new, right? I'm, I'm, I mean, we know raiders, gunners, and super mutants. Oh, oh, well, tch. we got well acquainted with super mutants in this episode earlier on. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Yeah, Nick, Nick looks a little worn, you know? Like, he does have these, like, pretty neat-looking golden rings in his eyes, but um, but he's kind of falling apart. <laughs> Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Uh... Bald and scarred, distinct voice, carried a gunner, describe outfits. Bald and scarred, that seems like a pretty good one. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Like, like the breakfast brand? I... might have. I, everything was foggy. Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he mm. bought a house here in town, right? Oh. And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. 10 years old? Well, there you go. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? 
That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. All right, and I know that, that yeah, 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 like nine years difference and all that, but I mean, but I mean, <laughs> there is like, there is like 10, like 200 years difference between my like 30th and 31st birthdays. <laughs> so I think at this point, anything is possible. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, we, we are going to stop it right here, just as Nick and I are going off to venture into Kellogg's house to, I guess, at the very least, just like find out more about this guy, who he works for, what is this kid, and so we can ultimately get my son, get our son back. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. I hope that you enjoyed. I am Mr. Navens. I'll see you in the next one.